Hello friends of BSG! Welcome back to BSG Annual 2021 at home. We are raising money for MIND and right now is the moment that I'm sure enough of you have been waiting for. It's the Bug Snacks Any Percent race between our very own Rekelt and good friend Conception with B-Man on commentary. Before we begin, we did have a couple of donations come in from our previous runner, MOD366. 24, 24 euros saying paying up my debt quote unquote after that whipsy run with the cactus being a nice guy this was more affordable than I feared than I feared it to be let's put the money toward the character color orange as I think my co-commentator would approve that choice and speaking of the co-commentator we also had one a 25 euro donation from Dennis or Deke 64 saying rounding up thanks for having me and thank you for the great run MOD all right, with that, B-Man, why don't you uh, tell us a little about what's coming up? Take it away, guys. Welcome to Bug Snacks. This game came out, what, November 2020? Yep. And is great game. Made by Young Horses, same people who did Octodad, Dadliest Catch. And we should uh, probably get into this. We have Rekult and Conception SR, two of the top runners of this game. One of them is playing on console, one of them is playing on PC. They both have their own differences, but we should just uh, jump right into this. Before we do, if you don't mind me interrupting, one, one, we'll, we'll uh, get the last count on those those bid wars, but two, I'm just going to make a quick switch on my camera here, because if you are familiar with me, you know I've had tech troubles all week in trying to run, but I wanted to prove to everybody that from my Pokemon Sword run, I got your Squirtle, and I named it hashtag I'm sorry, because I am sorry for not being able to run it so your bid war was fulfilled i tr trust trust in that okay yeah and, please trust yeah. and have a massive applause for conception for being here now <laughs> not having tech issues it's stable the power's on and i'm happy Woo! Yeah. our boy is back uh, what was our final for colors all right so with mod's huge donation that definitely put orange at the top uh, placement and uh, in second with one euro is black. So the winning colors are orange and black. Very Should good. we both do orange or one of us goes black because it is a huge donation. It is a huge donation. Hmm. You know what? I'll honor the one euro. I'll go black. <laughs> okay, then I'll do. <laughs> you do orange. <laughs> there we go. I'll and uh, Beeman, we're going to start on a uh, new game just to sync up better. All right. Nice Halloween colors, by the way, I gotta say. Yeah, nice and spooky. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, I think we're good. If B-Man can give me the countdown. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you like countdown? All right. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So, this is Bug Snacks. Uh, you'd think that there'd be a lot of uh, bug catching in this game. You'd be sorely mistaken. This is actually the long lost Mirror's Edge 3. <laughs> right off the bat, uh, we're going to be skipping a lot of different things in this game. Uh, about 90% of the game is completely skipped throughout this run. Right off the bat, they're going to skip this first area by jumping on top of these trees and hopefully getting on top of the rocks. And it's going to allow us to get on top of an invisible wall for this bridge. Be doing so allows us to go all the way around this section, which skips a about two minute flashback cutscene that is completely unskippable. But it does not end there. We skip through this tutorial section, don't talk to Philbo at all, and we do, a, we do a little bit more parkour over here on the conception side, and we end up skipping the entire uh, tutorial level. Wait, is the PlayStation actually winning? He win. <laughs> I should buy a PlayStation 5. No. Superior technology. Well, uh, except yeah. now that I have to mash my hand off. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Conception is running on a PS5 while Reek's running on a PC. They have slight differences. Uh, the kind of like, biggest thing right now is that... Console is a couple patch cycles behind PC. And so, they have a couple things that they're missing out. But they also have some things that just have not been patched out, like uh, certain bug snack behavior. But right here, uh, they're gonna be doing a couple uh, quests here. They gotta get, they gotta get a uh, a frider, two shishka bugs, and a bunger for uh, quests coming up. And Conception went for a Thanks. little trick there where he wanted to grab the frider through the ground. He wasn't able to do so. 
It's kind of hard. If I could quickly interject. Bunger, 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 bunger! Bunger. Yeah, so you might think, why don't we just skip Garden Grove? This is the one section of the game that you actually have to complete fully because the game will not like the loading zone will not work unless you finish the quest in this area believe it or not the developers actually did that on purpose yeah we were able to get into where the loading zone normally is but it just doesn't work but basically they catch all the bugs that they need to and then they just kind of like rapid fire go through these quests wow i am having the worst uh Worst thing here. Let's see, is that live still? Yeah. Oh, please tell me you had problems with catching the... The shish shish I missed shishka bugs twice. So. Aww. Ooh. I had to reload the save. The shishka bug is really terrible to, uh, to catch if you miss them. Yeah, so you may have noticed uh, they both were throwing ketchup at certain areas. Specifically, there's a tree in the middle, and the bungers... You're not supposed to be able to catch them normally, and even with the trap, if you, they, they kind of just knock it away. But if they are uh, knocked out and vulnerable, you can catch them completely with the trap. Which is really interesting. So this is Befica. Uh, she's your classic tutorial girl. She gives you this journal that you have to scroll through. And after this is when Philbo finally opens up the, uh, the loading zone. Hold on, I got this. Y'all just... So happy the gold split sound isn't happening because that was a gold split. Ooh. I had the opposite. Yeah, so the story of this game is, um... Lisbert, the town mayor, has completely gone missing. And Philbo, who is the kind of de facto mayor, uh, could not hold the people together as they had a lot, of a lot of conflict with each other. And so every they all fell apart, and they all kind of went their separate ways. Okay. And now it's your job to get them all back together, <sighs> figure this. out what happened with Lisbert, and uh, solve the mysteries of this island. So we have to do a, a couple interviews here. We're only clicking the specific options that we need to well. progress. Yeah, we can make Philbo depressed within three uh, questions. And then we go right back to doing crazy stuff. We're gonna jump on this fence, jump onto the donation box, get on top of this hut, on top of this other hut, and jump across the entire river. This allows us to jump on this rock, which skips us into the next, I think this is the fifth biome, Sugar Pine Woods. Well, is that the fifth biome? One day, I think like, well, technically, yeah. Yeah. Three, four, five. Takes if you don't count the first one. You can count once they're here. You should. You could. Anyway, I'll be all right. It should be five if you don't count the town. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we we skipped in this area very early. If we were to talk to Channel and Snorpley, the game would soft lock, and a it lot of different doesn't. things. Oh really? I had the video playing during my Dearest, and the uh, game just works fine. I see. They're going to do another skip here where they're going to get on top of this uh, this kind of like rock formation. And this skips us into the last biome of the game. And what happens when you kind of get into the secondary biomes of each area is they give you all of the gadgets in the game. So here we have the launch pad, we have the trip shot, we have the grappling hook, a bunch of different stuff. And we're going to put them all to use here. This door is the door to the complete end game it's what starts the ending sequence and we can get up here on top of this and we can use the trip shot which is we're going to put it in a very specific spot and okay. aim it at a certain angle and then it is going to allow us to clip directly through this door by jumping into it there we go Ooh. Oop, concession caught back up. That's First like. try. <laughs> nice. Uh, now you're just mean. 
So now we're here in the other snacks. This is the end game segment. This is kind of an auto scroller section where you're just forced to go down these tunnels to figure out what happened to Lisbert. Um, this is actually the last area what? in what the run thing? that has a potentially big skip. If you were to go out of bounds anywhere, you would fall into a loading zone that just takes you out of the section and continues the game. However, you don't have any gadgets, yeah. you cannot run, and stuff. you're Ugh. very limited what you can do. Slimy Pretty much all you can do is walk around and jump. I, uh, kinda wanna eat it. Uh, so if, if someone wants to come in and here, find that skip, find that'd be great. The, the devs have even... Possible, yeah. yeah, they've even acknowledged its existence. But yeah. Big spoilers incoming. This is Lisbert. We found her. Uh, what is it, like, eight minutes into the game? We're already at, at like, the end game segment? But that I almost lost myself. But somehow I pushed back. I made them into me. If I may, would this be a good time to read a few donations that came in? Yes. Actually, yeah. Awesome. After I said... Well, we got a 20 euro donation from Steve TV Online. Who is this Conception SR person? He hasn't run all we all the he hasn't run all this week. Also, where is Shelda? Shelda, like myself, is missing. It's only Yep. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate, ain't it? We also had a five euro donation from Young Thunfish. Could we get some Conception Bunger noises? Donation goes to Winner's Choice. Part. Hey, uh, no. Bunger? Bunger, 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 There you go. And no comment, but we did get a 12 euro donation from Savoy. Thank you very much. And just a little reminder that we do have our next run of Final Fantasy between Cruel and Boxmeister. And uh, for those interested, we do have some name bid wars for the party characters. And as far as I've noticed, we didn't seem to have any name choices for the white mage just yet so now is your chance to get that in i if assuming that uh once i refresh uh, at the very moment any donation should be able to take that chance so now is your opportunity guys all right so we're running back to Snacksburg. Conception and Rico are going to do a, try to do a nice little skip here where they jump on this fence. Conception gets it perfect. This saves a little bit of time over dropping down and continuing on. Uh, Rico just just decides to drop down and go for it. But we are now in what we like to call the gauntlet. Um, basically, all the people you didn't meet in the speed run and all the gadgets you didn't get to see in the speed run are kind of trying to escape this doomsday island. And all your weapons have been changed, or all your gadgets have been changed into weapons. So your snack trap has been turned into like a slap chop kind of thing. Uh, your grappling hook has been turned into a projectile boxing glove. Sprout has, go has grown spikes on his ball, which is metal. But, uh... <laughs> there's not there's not a whole lot of things that you can do to really speed this up. It's just you have to be optimal with each segment. Uh, you can go out of balance in here, but the triggers for each section don't uh, work until the prior triggers are completed. So you just have to go through all of this one by one. But here comes someone with a healthy capacity. Also, there's Shelda. There you go, Steve. <laughs> you get a little Shelda action. Do miss a pause. Except he's gonna line himself here up here so he can hit all these uh sprinkle peats very quickly. One shot. Gonna hit these snack here exactly when they spawn, and then there's gonna be some pacantuses that spawn inside the barn door. Instead of shooting them individually, we shoot them into the villagers, and they eat the kind of component bug snacks that make up the pecanzas, because That's if really not, cool. this section can go very bad if one of them gets stuck somewhere. You basically have to wait out a, a, a timer. Speaking of... Yep, speaking of... Hello? Yeah, Here one of them is, is alive somewhere. Somewhere stuck in the geometry. Yeah. 
The game has a soft lock protection where after a certain amount of time it will just advance. Nothing but log. Relocating. So it's technically not 100% needed to uh, do all of it, but you got look this, at bro. it as a uh, as a good ending as well as a faster ending. Yeah, you don't need to save Take all of these villagers. Off. It's just faster to do so because I think the only one that would realistically be faster to lose is probably uh, this one that they're currently on, but then. The um, the villagers go through like this whole dying sequence where they you know have a little cutscene and a lot of dialogue and that's just completely slow. <laughs> this is probably the hardest part of the game is we're gonna freehand shoot these barrels and we're gonna try to get triples on every single one of these hits. Also, a little cool thing that uh, I don't I don't. I didn't see if uh, Conception got it, but after this last section in the tri tripwire section, they try to get stuck on this little ruined gazebo because the game wants to put you to a certain spot. And if it can't do that, the cutscene will continue playing and you'll stay further away from where you would have been normally. I tried, but didn't get it. I got it. Nice. Yeah, the bad thing about the this barrel section is that sometimes the barrel just will not lock on to the chipoofs and will just fly directly over them. So if you set it up with a manual shot and time it perfectly, you can get triples on everything other than the last wave which has five things. Well. Also, we're gonna we're gonna take center stage here in this uh this buggy ball section. Pretty much all you have to do is just run the uh, the ball into all the different bugs next. At this point, you are just at the mercy of how fast the game plays. This section used the section used to be very bad, like when the game first came out, because the walls in the back were missing uh, a property that allowed the bug snacks to like splatter on them and die. So they would just get stuck on the wall, and you'd have to wait out that soft lock protection like 30 seconds every single wave, and it was just a run killer at that point. No. Now. Yeah, this get, is the last section of the gauntlet. Uh, no use, we're basically going That's to be throwing stoss in very specific spots well, that are in do? the middle of two spawns of There's different bug sacks. So that way they have the shortest kind of like distance they have to travel to run into each other. Fresh grown. Oh, good thinking. What? That's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't see you there. Would you mind helping out? Just a matter of life and death is all. You can get like a weird soft lock ish. Not soft lock. There's two bugs that can, at least on the PS5 version, there's two bugs that can kind of like phase into each other for some reason. Right yeah. here. Oh, uh, nope. They killed. They, they bumped into each other really quickly. That's him, actually. So that's good. Yeah, sometimes they'll bump into each other, but one of them won't die, so there will just be an odd number of bugs next to the field. And you just have to wait out the uh, soft lock protection again. <laughs> okay. But that's all the hard stuff done for Conception side. Rico's about to finish up on the uh, gauntlet here too. There's a tiny epilogue sequence that we have to go through where they all kind of like escape to a beach. And then, uh, and then there's also a little interview area. And, and time will be coming up after that interview area.
But you have a, you have a little auto scroll you have to go through, a little ending sequence. Assuming you don't mess up the inputs, like that is still possible. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Yep, you I've lost it. a run to that. I've lost a world record run to that before. Everybody's been hey buddied. Yeah. Don't forget the street to Wambus. Best part is you get a chimp over Befica is because it's the best line to fill, though. Hey, buddy. All right. That's one down. I, I know. Can't, there we go. I can't, I can't. Great. I'm safe. I have All right. Point. <laughs> um. Don't worry. You're fine. It's oh, all. Awesome. And time. Time for conception. I'm just escaping the island, so uh, it can take a while. GG, friend. Thanks. My arm hurts. I haven't mashed that fast in a while. <laughs> oh yeah, that is one thing I didn't say. Uh, PS5 and PS4, they have to mash with buttons, while with PC, you kind of like bind text skip t to your scroll wheel, so you can just run that back and forth. I there's don't a know lot, why, but that, there's a lot of weird things. That wasn't the case for me right now. No, no, no. Oh, he got hey buddied! Oh no, <laughs> I, I got double hey buddied. No, dude! <laughs> oh no! A double hey buddy. I didn't have my uh, finger on the two. Everybody's been hey buddied. There. You're not a bug snack speedrunner unless you get hey buddied. <laughs> At least once. This is true. So I'm gonna get fired in just a little bit at GNN. And time for Reek. Very nice. GG. Thank you. And I think uh, compare against uh, game time. That's a 12 seconds. PB in any percent, I guess. Hey! Yo! GG! Huge GG! I Thank didn't even you. time it, but I know it couldn't have been for me because of that horrible Garden Grove I had. Yeah, no, you, you definitely got a better time. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's been a while for me, but I know Conception, you got a world record in a few console categories. Yeah, so I have a in in, in a PS5, PS4 category. I have world record in any percent, no major skips, and 100 percent as of right now. So, but anyone can anyone can take that over at any time. I just love this game, so I play it a lot. <laughs> yeah, and if anybody's interested in playing this game, it's a great casual game. Uh, it's currently available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the Epic Game Store, and it's coming to Steam in 2022. So that is definitely true. Throw that up on your wish list. Mm -hmm. Not in November? I don't believe so. It's, it, it's planned for 2022. Okay, surprise. And next to that, there are also some other categories, like no major skips that we just mentioned, which is a sort of full on any percent, but no skips into places we can go, we shouldn't go to. Yeah, no load zones yeah, early. No load zones early, that's a better name, yeah. Mm -hmm. And 100%, yeah. which. Uh, I mean, you get to see all the bug snacks. You gotta catch all it all. The, all the different yeah. all quests, all different bug snacks, all different clues and stuff. It's a great it, run. Mm -hmm. After a few months, it definitely became a way better category than it was before. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everyone who uh, contributed to that. Edio, uh, I forgot the other guy's Ping, name. Pingil or Pingle? I never know how to say. <laughs> Pingil, yeah. yeah. Pingil. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, play this game, speedrun this game, um, you know, speedrun.com slash bugsnacks. We have a subreddit, r slash bugsnacks speedrunning, too. Um, yeah. No, no, I said play, no play this game. It would be hard play to this game. It's if very not good. For, if not for enjoyment, play it for the bunger. Hmm. Bunger, bunger. Hard to say. bunger. In the barbecue Could bunger. Be bunger, bunger. Could be and I'm all for those legendary bug snacks. Mm -hmm. And also the uh, LGBTQ representation. Equal rights. Quid. 
it does. Hell yeah. By far, this game has great representation. For sure. You don't, you don't see a lot of it in any percent, but definitely in no major skips and casual play, I guess. Indeed. Well, with that said, before we uh, sign off, I do want to read a quick 10 euro donation from Magnus. No comment, but thank you very much for uh, your contribution. We are currently at 3,715 euros total. That is a wonderful amount of money raised for mine. We are helping people who need the mental health help, and you guys are doing fantastic for just making that possible. So thank you to everyone. Of course, with that said, unfortunately, this will be the last time I am hosting and, well, okay, for, the, for this event, but you know, you'll probably see me sometime or hear me sometime in the future. But yes, my part here at BSG Annual 2021 is done, but do not worry, my good friends, for I am giving the hosting seat to the very amazing Argic for the next few runs. So don't you worry, there are some fun times ahead. Don't forget to get your donations in for those Final Fantasy character names because that is closing very, very soon. Still no names for the White Mage, so anything goes at this point. I do want to remind to our runners that we do have a five euro donation that goes to the winner's choice. So, Khan, whatever you'd like. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, that name, that White Mage is a bid war, right? Um, put it towards Bunger. Is the name? Is that enough? Is that too many characters? I don't know. I uh, have six characters. I think that. Bunger. I think That's yes, that, that should be enough. Bunger. All right, sweet. Well then, you got it there. You you heard it here first, folks. With that said, you are watching BSG Annual 2021 at home. Coming up next is Final Fantasy with Cruel and Boxmeister, and this is TM1K signing off. Ciao, Michi.